Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're watching the Adam Eve special of Invincible. And if you guys want to watch season two when it comes out in November, get this video to 15,000 likes. And if you want to hear the full commentary for this, you can do so over on our Patreon and check out our cool new merch. We've got shirts and all sorts of awesome things that you could wear and they look cool. It's BillingTheMerch.com. Bye now. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So is this gonna be the girl boss episode? Lizard League! Can I already say this officially looks way better than season one? Dude, we've seen like two seconds. No, you cannot, okay? There could be hidden dangers here. I don't know what these things are, but they're kind of dis- They don't have pupils. They don't have fucking pupils. They're prince lizards, dude. This is Mark Zuckerberg's extended family. Burning world will warm our cold blood. This is giving the vibes of like a really shitty D&D &D campaign. <laughs> and this is mom. He's come to say you can't play D&D &D anymore. It's past your bedtime. That game's a lost cause. Dude, this Bro, is the best thing ever. That everybody like was sad play. when the fish died. How could he go so soon? Like, that's what the critics were saying. But now we finally get what we always wanted. But he fights like a fish out of water. Can I say that? You're not allowed, no. Retract no, that sorry, statement right now. That. Retract that. <laughs> you wish... That cut looked pretty nice. I don't remember well enough to say for sure, but I do feel like it looks a bit better in the first Yeah, it's season. been years since we've seen the show, so I understand, like, how you would forget. <laughs> well, with how much what? fucking shit we watch, it might as well have been years. Bro, whoever designed this fucking building is gonna get such a big OSHA complaint. This thing is crumbling like nothing. Bro, they're really bringing the house down. <laughs> oh my god. It's him. It's the good guy who has never done anything wrong. It's that guy who told his son to think in a very, like, chill way and didn't abuse him. Yeah, like, he metaphorically shaved the edges of his mustache off. Dude, this is like a- from the perspective of the lizard people, this is like a Dark Souls boss. Like, you're barely hanging in there fighting the crew, and then you hit the second phase and fucking Omni-Man shows up. It's like, <laughs> fuck that. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I know how important this baby is. Dude, that guy looks like a fucking Muppet. So this is Adam Eve's mommy, and she died during childbirth. As a mother, if you are in labor, make sure you don't die. Otherwise, you're tired. <laughs> if that's your mother, very good. make sure you don't die in labor. Wow, that's really good advice. Bring my specimen back. Muppet guy is guy who spies on their house. He just has longer hair. Wait, is this Joe, the Joe Biden? This is Joe Biden. <laughs> What would the good doctor do in this situation? <gasps> oh god, she died. Oh, this is kind Thank of god. fucking all- Thank god. Shut up, Jack. Shut up. Be quiet. She was making <laughs> a f she was making fucked up sounds, bro. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't need to hear this right now, bro. This is horrible. Oh I'm, my I'm god, he's gonna cut the baby out of the womb. <laughs> Did he eat the baby? I was hungry. <laughs> a man's gotta eat. <laughs> Find me the buddies. Go! Chill out. This guy needs, this guy yeah, needs to take like, a take Zanny, a bro. Pill. It's nobody's fault. Oh my god, they're gonna switch the babies. Oh my god, that's funny. That's not funny, that's that's sad. There's still a miscarriage happening. What do you mean that's funny? She came back to us. She came back to us. Oh my god, they switched to my birth. I love gaslighting people in vulnerable situations. It's such a great thing to do. Oh my. They're like, she came back to us, and then they pull out the baby. It's like a black child. Just, just perfect. She's just perfect. No, she isn't. Do you ever go to like the hospital and you like change all the name tags on the babies just for a little bit of trolling? That would be funny. What? No, I don't. I want to watch Invincible. No, wrong show. No. Oh, I'm one of those TikTok witches. Autism. Sam sure loves her Legos, huh? I think your daughter might be autistic. Auti- She's playing with Legos and you say autism? There's like a PSA. If your child has been playing with Legos, you might want to get them tested. She looks scary. Am I- Her eyelids are fucked up. Am I wrong? She has like the bags underneath that makes it a little <laughs> creepy. She came out the womb tired. Sam's been making molecules for me. Check it out. That's baking soda. This one, this one is glucose. They look so scared. Her parents look. Well, look no, how the dad is gonna punch. Is. The dad is gonna punch him, bro. The dad was already racist. He was already reluctant to let this black kid babysit the children. But this is the final straw. She wasn't reading science textbooks. 
She can barely read at all. Our daughter's not gonna go to college to be a damn liberal. She's gonna work on the coal mines like everyone else does in our family and die of fucking lung, lung poisoning. I'm gonna ace my test. Mr. P won't know what hit him. You think he's actually gonna attack his teacher? <laughs> Thanks for instructing me how to make a hydrogen bomb. Mr. P won't know what hit him. One's for gifted kids. Oh, she's not gifted. She's just weird. I love Amen to that, brother. Amen to that. I love the fucking That's dad, bro. fucking funny as fuck. What a horrible <laughs> thing to say about your child. What's the name of that school for weirdos? Wham, wham, my dad doesn't love me. Blah, blah, blah. That is creepy. <laughs> that is fucking creepy. He's just watching. This is a fucking pedophile. The under lids do make her face look fucking really weird and She looks goofy. like a demon. It's... I can understand why her parents don't love her. Like, it makes sense. That was so unnerving. I'm not gonna... That... Oh! I don't want impressive. I want the ability to change reality. I want death. Dude, is this guy ever not angry? Like, so far? <laughs> it, it's like he has a fucking, like, a stick up his ass, like, the entire show. Lance Reddick was perfect at being, like, perpetually pissed. You're making failures. And if I don't see something different soon, you are the tube next. Bro, I want to go in the tube. The tube looks fun. Woo! That sounds like a fun time, I'm not gonna lie. Guys, comment below if you would go in the tube. RFA. I hope the R doesn't stand for racist fucking asshole. That's what it stands for. <laughs> oh my god, child. Oh my god, then she's gonna die. She's gonna. Her friend's gonna die. I'm Bo, the even weird. This fucking bitch is gonna die. I'm being dead yeah, ass. Yeah, she's right dead, now. bro. No, that's what I've been saying. Truth or dare? <laughs> Truth. Why she looks so old? They're like teenagers, right? She's got fucking wrinkles. She's been like through it, bro. She's been through the fucking <laughs> ringer already. Holy moly. Because I'm 12 and it's scary. Wait, they're 12? <laughs> she looks 40. <laughs> she's, supposed to be, she's supposed to be 12? She looks like the she's fucking... 30. She looks like she, she has a fucking mortgage. Inside job looking ass. So what do you want then? I want to do something that, that I want to I want to be a gamer. Hey, I'm serious. <laughs> I know. That's why it's so funny. <laughs> this is me when I have chemistry with my friends and we're friends and we get along with each other and laugh. Dude, that's and so true. <laughs> you come home. You got homework to do if you want to get your grades up. Okay, why the, there, she was hanging out with one of her friends in a treehouse. This is like a conversation <laughs> you have with your family when you're at like some fucking party. You were hanging out with one girl. They don't have any fun or care about anything. They're just a bunch of freaks. They're freaks? Look at yourself. <laughs> Dude, her dad is the fucking... Rose. He's so Dude, mean. Fuck, fuck this guy. Logging in to brain Discord. Blast. She's having a brain blast. So is Adam Eve like the most powerful character in the fucking show? Of course not. She's the most girl. Well, she's a woman, and women are the most powerful creatures that exist. Ah, uh, change back, change back, change. I hate her face. Like all of her expressions are like disgusting. But it's important because it adds to like how awkward she is. It's like it's a rel. It's like. It Done on purpose, Cora, so you don't understand. It looks like she's like a Mr. Potato Head and they like glued all her facial features to like a hump of flesh. This is the most disgusting fucking sandwich. That shit look like straight fucking doo-doo doo in there, bro. What dude, the fuck? imagine your dad calls you a freak and your mother serves you a pile of shit afterwards to make it up to you. Like what like what the fuck is that? So she can like transmute matter into different that's, things. That's really full cool. metal alchemist. Dare, but I get to pick. She should like transmute her dad into someone who loves her. <laughs> and it's not just little things like gum. I can make stuff. I can make stuff. It's like Roblox. Stop it. God. <laughs> like it's pretty apparent she's not a big fan of this. Yeah, but she's also autistic, so she doesn't know, bro. Yeah, she's lacking <laughs> social cues. Normal people aren't supposed to be able to do things like that. Who cares? I'm telling mom that you made an affront to God. Foul. 
Aw. She lost her friend instantly? What? I'm not gonna lie, if I was friends with someone and they started moving molecules around, <laughs> I think I would fuck off too. Like, they, I'm they like, are... I'm not getting involved in that. I don't want the Ain't fucking no CIA way. knocking on my goddamn door. <laughs> fuck that shit. They, they are 12 year old girls though, which are the most toxic human beings on the planet. So I, so mm -hmm. I do, I do. But then she, the... oh, they come back together because she discovers that her friend can transmute the rock into two Taylor Swift tickets. More shitty sandwiches, more shitty looking Bro, garbage you need a fucking you're, garbage okay, sandwich. Okay, I know we hate the dad, but like your mom is like the worst fucking person on the planet for serving you a pile of garbage like that every day. Uh, she looks like a real person now. Like her yeah, face looks like a normal human. They updated her design because more time passed. They patched yeah, she, it, bro. She looks, she looks lo normal now. Weirdly, I feel like she, she looks actually, younger. She looks younger than she, she looks looked than now. when she was 12. Oh, she's going to go on someone's lawn and they're going to use the Second Amendment to shoot them because it's their property. Never mind. She should turn the squirrel into like a dog. I wish she were a puppy. Dude, he's standing there. That's what? Joe Biden. That's what? Joe Biden character. What, what did he expect? No, that's Joe Biden character. That's her real father. He d he does this in real life too. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. It's giving Ladybug miraculous. I love this song. I actually love this song. What the fuck? I do like this episode. Like we went into it a little negative because none of us are big fans of this character, but I am enjoying it. It really makes you feel like a like a fourteen year old ginger girl, and that's like what's what's wholesome about it. This is like the best part of Invincible when when it's these prolonged like action scenes showing off it's the set piece. It's just them chilling like, out and music's playing. It's awesome. <laughs> the dog looks so funny in that cage. Bro, the easiest way to make a villain make some guy, people kidnap dogs. Dumb masks you're wearing. Oh my god, I thought she made them plastic bags and she was suffocating them. That's what I thought was happening. Okay, that was not as bad. Jesus Christ. You're gonna leave them squirming like turtles on their backs? Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. I get your sleepy Joe, but you ain't sleeping with me. Maybe we could speak somewhere else. Ever heard of Stranger Danger? Hard pass, creep. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Ah. I just wanted you to take a ride in my van to a second location. She went with him to the second location. Like, you're not supposed to do that, man. That's fucked up. Dr. Elias Brandyworth, I was the assistant director of the Pentagon's Department of Superhuman Research. I don't think that's Joe Biden. We've been we've been thinking. It's not Joe Biden? It's not Joe Biden. Fuck, it's not Joe Biden. Fuck. To protect you, you were one of my projects, Samantha. Imagine calling like your children one of your projects. Isn't that fucked up? Is it wrong though? Technically you made them, so yeah, it's kind of like a project of yours. You get to control them, so. They'll come for you. You must stop using them. What? No, I can do things that matter. That's like giving your child a gun and ask them not to shoot it. Like, you gave them the gun. Yeah, like, that's so boring. Sorry doesn't cut it anymore. Your father and I have done everything for you. Bitch, those sandwiches are not everything. <laughs> Shut the hell up. It's her. Oh, so these are technically like her brothers, like disgusting, like fishmen, because they're all made in these weird little tubes. What? This guy looks like a like a kind of like a cyberpunk guy. He kind of looks like Simon in season three of Infinity Train after he got melted. Like halfway through being melted. <laughs> oh, she like marking off all the places she's gonna destroy with her powers. I'm gonna destroy this homeless shelter. I'm gonna eliminate the homeless problem in America. The only way I know how. I'm not gonna lie, like, why stop someone who robs a jewelry store? Like, who cares, you know? What are you hurting, the fucking blood diamond, like, people that are supplying it? Like, <laughs> like literally, literally, it's like one of the, like, least offensive crimes you could commit. I'm just surprised how quickly she got confident in, like, fighting people. Like, she has no, like, sports experience or anything. She was just a fucking nerd. And then, like, she's been in two fights and now she's going crazy with it. Jerk. 
Samantha. <gasps> is he real? I feel like he's a figment of her imagination. That would be fucking crazy. But he was in the episode before she was born. Shut up, Cora. It would be funnier if Jack was right. What? You don't even take a day off on your birthday? How do you know it's my birthday? My parents didn't even remember. I watch you literally every day. I have nothing better to do with my life. Her parents didn't remember her birthday, bro. What? I feel so <laughs> bad for her, dude. This is fucking hilarious. She gets home, she's like, Honey, I'm sorry you forgot your birthday, but I made your favorite meal. The sandwich. <laughs> the fucking the sandwich. They give her a birthday cake and it's just a candle shoved in the fucking shitty tuna sandwich. She volunteered her pregnancy for an experimental procedure. They manipulated a homeless woman into giving birth to a fucking mutant. What the fuck just happened? The government experimenting on homeless people? No way. You weren't just an experiment or a weapon. And I was making a terrible mistake. Dude, this is fucking Oppenheimer, bro. <laughs> this is Oppenheimer. He was like, oh, I work on this project where I make an artificial human weapon. And then once they made the artificial human weapon, he was like, oh, no, I shouldn't do that. So he puts the thing in her womb. He's like, I am become death. Destroyer of wombs. Destroyer of wombs. This is a gang right here. This is like the fucking sewer patch kids. What are they called? The fucking trash can? Garbage pail kids? Garbage pail kids. Whoa, dude, that was some mob psycho shit. What the hell? Yo, this looks awesome. I guess I hadn't really realized from her appearance in the first season, but her power is really interesting. Like there's like a million things you can do with it. Oh, and she can cure her wounds too. She is OP as hell. No, she didn't. She just fixed her dress. She should make like a suit that's like indestructible or whatever. Like what would that be made out of? Carbon fiber until you go too far underwater. Dude, that's crazy, bro. Oh my goodness, that's my fit to see the Barbie movie. You wear a fucking piece of armor? Oh my God. I'm knocking other people down on my way to the theater to get the best seat. These cars, like, stop driving. They're not even slowing down a little bit. They're playing fucking Crossy Road or Crossy Frog or whatever it's called. <laughs> These cars do not give a single shit. Dude, the Crossy Road action scene is crazy. It's a shame we had to fight like this, sister. We could have been a family together. They look so ugly. It's hilarious. They're so comically hideous. Ain't no one want to be a family with you, ugly dead. Lucky there's a family guy. Dude, all the Griffins are hotter than this guy, bro. I'm sorry. The shift in emotion in this scene is kind of weird. He looks like if like Edward and Winry had a kid together because they're cousins. Oh my god, it's if Ed and Winry were fused together by the dude. She's a weapon. My weapon. And it's taken me years to get her back. I'll come back. He's so fucking evil. He's the American military. What the fuck did you expect? I love the American military. That's... Good old mom. They did preserve her body. Holy shit! So she's like brain dead and they're using her to create more copy? That's so fucked up on so many levels. That is the most fucked up thing in this show, man. Jesus Christ. They turned her into a superhuman incubator, bro. Well, now she's dead, so. Just let her die, bro. Just let her die at this point. Like, put her out of her fucking misery, dude. That was an accident. You murdered my whole family. Calm down. Calm down. I know I just murdered your whole family. I know I legitimately killed everyone you care about and ruined your life. Dude, girl boss beam. No, not the girl. Dude, this, oh my God. This is giving anime to us. She's going girl boss super saiyan right now. This is the new, the new level that we haven't seen yet. You ruined my life. Took everything from me. I kind of love this because it's so edgy. Well, you love it when it's just like embraces being over the top. And I defy you to even remember who I am. Did she like wipe their memory? Yeah, I think so. She is OP as fuck. She can just erase people's memories. And then she's gonna bring him back from the dead. I don't know, man. He has a bullet in his head right now. I don't know how possible that is. Yeah, rearrange the molecules. So the bullet was in his foot instead. <laughs> <laughs> and where have you been? Adam, wait. Don't stick up for her. She's late for her own birthday. Oh my God. They ate a slice. You couldn't help yourself. These fat fucking pieces of shit couldn't even wait for her daughter to eat her fucking birthday cake. And then her mom's like, 
I made the cake. It's tuna fish flavor. Your favorite. Hey, like it or not, we're the only family you've got. Yikes. Oh my god, dude. This show. Oh. He literally picked the worst words he could have. This is like the worst father on planet Earth. This guy sucks ass. <laughs> Ew, ew, they look like fucking Snapchat bitmojis. They look fucking awful. She may, be, may be able to reshape the entire world into whatever image she so desires, but she is a dog shit artist. That is AI art. Maybe she's the real villain. Maybe she's the true villain. She's creating AI imagery. Where was Mark Grayson during all this? Playing video game. He was playing Halo. I was not even thinking that question. I did not care. I'm gonna be... Duct tape, man. <laughs> hey. And you might rethink that as we peel all this off. Go upstairs and run a bath. Hold that setup for like five seconds of attention. Like they were barely even like impressed with that whatsoever. That probably took so long to do. He coated his entire body in duct tape. Finish dinner while I untape the boy. Ah! Thumbnail. Ah! Thumbnail. Ah! What the fuck? Is he going through a moment right now? He's going through some things. He's gonna coat the whole world in duct tape. So what now, guys? That was a good one. Uh, outro. Patreon. <laughs> Patreon. A timely jest to Donna Schultz, Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leo, Bento, Com Luke, Communism is When No iPhone, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Irv, Fallen Sun, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenado, Scub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rod, Goonie Snyder Jonasson, Isaiah Alford, Ivan Oral, Jalen Hendrick, Josh Gourmet, Kalmoe, Knight, Lilac Moon, Magnus Atlas and My Artistry, Master Nate, Misty Skies, Native, Nikki H, Noah Holiday, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Pigeon Witch, Puffles, Samuel Sanchez, Sheriff Nico, Steven Sanchez, Sun God the Last, Here in Seriously, Awesome Possum, Trinity Martin, Useless Grunt, Alex Wissett, Wyatt Lime, Yahir Sanchez.